talking to Dr. Robert Hirsch, I highly recommend this book, a book that could potentially, for those that are interested in digging in, will awaken you to a new reality, a new economy, a new era of human existence for that matter. Uh, this book can help you understand what is down the road. We are, Dr. Hirsch, a society driven by consumerism and looking to the daily problem. And oftentimes, again, we'll leave the planning to our politicians to do down the road. Now, there are, if, if we kind of put the three entities here, we have politicians uh, that we elect to the office, that we expect them to look out for the best of the good of the, the society, and there are us, and there's media, and there's media. People are looking either to the media or to the politicians to be awakened to the situation. As if Katrina is coming, you say, okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna watch CNN to see if, if, if really Katrina is coming. Now, if, if there is a situation, an impending shortage that we're talking about here, again, we don't see that much on the mass media. We don't see it from our politicians. If we kind of give up on those, but we start digging in what is an average person can do, both in two, two levels for themselves, their families. Second, to help our society to pressure our politicians to pay attention to the reality and bring about a real drastic change. What can they do? In the book, what we, uh, uh, what we do is to look ahead to how this is likely to unfold and to look at the experience from real shortages, namely what happened in 1973 and 1979. From that, we forecast what we think will happen in economies that are highly dependent on imported oil. And we get down to the point of talking about investments and what people can do in terms of where they live and how they live and what it is they might do to protect themselves. And in fact, we have a chapter on that, which is the second to last chapter in the book, because we happen to care about people. Mm -hmm. And the one thing that individual people can do is to analyze their own situation and make changes. We're all limited, but you can make changes, uh, some easy, some hard, to the way you're living and where you're living and what you're driving and so forth. And that can help you to weather this very difficult storm. The thing that none of us know, as you well know, is that we can't predict what the politicians will do and when they will do it, and we can't predict when the mass media will catch up to this problem. It's a bad news, all right? And I don't like to write about bad news, but it's a responsibility, and so that's what we It did. is a responsibility, and again, it's as if there's a storm coming, so, and you know there's a storm coming, you could do two things. You could just be quiet about it, or at least if you tell them, if, if Katrina is coming, and I know it, I'll probably board up my windows at least, do something sure. Sure. to mitigate the situation. Because as you say in, in your presentation, in the book, people are going to be mad at politicians. Once it happens, they're going to look back and say, you knew this, right. but we weren't, we, why we weren't told? But that's too late. That's just after the fact. Where do you see the oil prices in the next uh, two to five years? Well, our view after many years of not committing to what we thought might be the point of decline, uh, it's become clearer and clearer to us, and we believe that the decline, the beginning of decline, will occur in two to five years, and that's what we have uh, uh, in the book. I'm going to stop Hirsch, because yes. I had another great thought, and it just flew right out of my head. Not a problem. It'll come back. Uh, um, Again, I'm, I'm, I'm highly recommending this book, The Impending Moral Energy Mess by Dr. Hirsch. And I want to close out uh, by saying this. This is not a problem of the United States. This is not a problem of the Western world. This is a global problem. Do you see any possibility that potentially we could have a world summit uh, to address this? Possibly, you have producers from OPEC, uh, consumers in the West sit down and just say, look, this is a common problem that we need to work together to solve. Do you see that happening to mitigate the situation? 
it's easy to call a meeting. And so undoubtedly meetings will be called and meetings will be held. But in fact, I think that uh, judging by our attempts at world government in recent decades, uh, they are unlike uh, such meeting or meetings is unlikely to uh, result in something of substance. I think it's going to be up to individual countries. Uh, some countries will work together, some countries will work alone. But it's going to be up to individual countries to work the problems in their own individual situation. Perfect. The Impending World Energy Mess, a great book. The foreword is with uh, good words from our uh, Dr. Schlesinger, uh, Secretary of Defense, Head of CIA, and the founder of the Department of Energy. Also, great work from Dr. Hirsch and Associate. I highly recommend the book. Dr. Hirsch, it's always good to be with you. Thank you very much.